Sophia Sanchez is a little girl with a whole lot of zest for life. All right. And now gratitude for the gift of life. I'm just thankful for everything, and I don't even know how to, what, how to say it. Really, it's just like I'm so thankful. Are you we first met Sophia in August, her Kiki Challenge viewed by millions. What we didn't see was the journey to get here. It was back in January, Sophia, a healthy, active 10-year-old, suddenly had trouble breathing. She was initially diagnosed with asthma. Still not feeling well in May and now losing weight, Sophia was given more asthma medication. Then on the last day of school in June. I took the last day of school. At this point, her heart was failing. We had like a kind of a party after school and there's like a big hill and I was like couldn't even run up the hill with my friends. Did you just think you were tired? Yeah. She couldn't sleep because when she would lay flat, she couldn't breathe, so I would prop her up with pillows. Her mom, insisting on more tests, rushed her to the emergency room. Something was wrong and I wasn't going to give up. She wasn't the same little girl. My mom begged and cried to them and said, can you please put, put, do more tests to her? It's like something's wrong and they said, they came back in like, an hour later, like, oh, you're right, you saved your daughter's life. Sophia was quickly transferred to Lori Children's Hospital, and there she was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. Her heart was pumping at 12%. They said she was the sickest patient in the hospital, if not in Illinois. Then in what seemed like a miracle, seven weeks after being on the heart transplant list and just days after turning 11. My birthday wishes. Oh, my God! to meet Jake and other ones to get a heart. Her second wish also came true. I'm getting a heart! Yeah. Yes. Yes. The nine-hour surgery was a success. Do you hear your heartbeat? Bum, 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 bum. Yes. And Sophia says she'll never forget her first reaction. I took my nose can, this was helped me breathe. I took it down like... I haven't been able to breathe in years this so much. Today, Sophia is almost back to her normal routine, even throwing out the first pitch at a softball tournament, raising money to help with her mounting medical bills. But before the end of our interview... I do want to give you something. Okay. Sophia wanted to share one more personal message. I hope organ donors once saved my life. A young child's eternal gratitude for the family she's never met. I just want to say thank you and um, one day I hope to meet you. I just would want them to see how happy Sophia is and how much she loves life and how much they did for her. <laughs> I'm so, so thankful, so thankful. I couldn't live without my baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> As you can imagine, Sophia's family wants to make sure more people know about organ donations. Right now, 14 patients at Lori Children's are still waiting for a heart transplant nationally. That number is more than 3,800. They don't know who the donor family is for Sophia, but yeah. as you heard, they would like to meet them one day. Oh, oh how we hope that family yeah. somehow hears this message tonight, Judy. Absolutely. Their, their yeah. thanks the for gift. somebody else's loss. Yeah. yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. And she was so joyful at the Festival of Lights Parade this yes. weekend. So so hopeful and looking forward to going back to school and cheerleading and just so much sparkle in her spirit. She is looking forward to going back to school next week. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wow. With all we've been through recently, Judy, you know, our oh. city needs to hear a story like yeah. this. Real Thank meaning so of this Thanksgiving holiday, right? Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.